Nat, our series, The Dish Recipe, where we focus on just one quick and easy to follow recipe. It's a spinoff of our James Beard Award winning series, The Dish. And this week we teamed up with the New York Times Cooking to bring you a recipe you can have ready in 20 minutes or less. It's a salmon dish, crispy rice on the side, and it highlights a Korean red chili flake that is a unique spice, yes, but you can find it in most supermarkets, and you're gonna want to. Take a look. Hi, good morning. My name is Eric Kim, and I'm a cooking columnist for the New York Times. The dish today is a super quick, wonderful meal. It's a gochugaru salmon with crispy rice. It's a meal that saved a lot of people in my life, people who need dinner really quickly. The ingredients you'll need to make the dish are gochugaru, which is a Korean red pepper flake, maple syrup, rice vinegar, unsalted butter, cucumbers, salmon, and white rice. So the first step is just to season the salmon with salt and pepper. And I like to season from up high. You're gonna get more even distribution like this. And we just have some cucumbers here for, you know, for snacking. I'm actually gonna salt them. When they draw out some water, they get crisper. When you place protein into a hot pan, you wanna make sure that you're doing it away from you. You'll notice that as the heat rises up, the orange sort of turns into a lighter pink. That's why I like salmon, it really tells you when it's done. Can you see that, how the orange flesh has, is slowly turning less and less translucent? And when it's about two-thirds of the way up, that's when you want to flip it. So that skin is nice and crispy. Salmon skin is the bacon of the sea, don't you think? Another real reason I wrote this recipe is because I wanted people to celebrate gochugaru specifically. It has this like fruitiness that really celebrates this Korean pepper. And I think once you try it, you will use it for a lot of things. The salmon taking off, taking off the heat. And in this pan, I'm actually gonna add the rice now. What I really enjoy with this crispy rice is having one nice brown layer of crunchy, sweet, ricey, almost like a cracker on the bottom. And also, very important, a little salt. Some salt on this really brings out the nuttiness of rice. So that's gonna go for about five minutes. I mean, you can kind of still hear it, right? It's like, that sound is how you know you're on your way to deliciousness. And as that goes, I'm gonna just mix up the sauce, this red pepper powder, gochugaru. I'm adding rice vinegar to it. This is sort of my little trick. I love maple syrup. You need salt in this. Um, about a teaspoon. You see how, by not messing with it too much, we were able to get this nice browning. In Korean, it's called nudungji, which means scorched rice. The next thing we're gonna do is just bloom our gochugaru. We're just trying to reduce it. You're adding butter at the end. It's going to create a lovely sauce. And then when that melts, we're kind of ready. Now, the, all that's left to do is sauce them. This is the kind of thing that's gonna make your guests go, whoa, what is that? Is that wonderful fat, the crispy skin, the rich, wonderful, sweet, salty, savory sauce. I really think this was just a, a banger of a salmon dinner. I hope it introduces you to gochugaru, and I hope you love it. It's time for our delicious new series, The Dish Recipe, where we focus on just one quick and easy to follow recipe. It's a spin up of our James Beard award winning series, The Dish. This morning, a contributor from New York Times Cooking shares a one skillet recipe that she loves to make with her kids. I'm Yawande Kamalafa, and today I'm making tofu with blistered snap peas. But if you wanted to cook this with chicken, if you wanted to cook it with cubes of beef or pork, that works as well. Ingredients that you need to make the dish are ginger, garlic, soy sauce, molasses, cashews, coconut milk, scallions, mint, one block of firm tofu, snap peas, rice vinegar. The first 
thing that I like to do is to pat my tofu dry. The drier your tofu is, the more crisp it will get. I'm gonna turn on my stove top to medium high because I want a lot of heat to crisp my tofu up. Tofu is, I think it's an amazing ingredient because it really just absorbs the flavors of whatever you cook it in. So it's a vessel for flavor. It's a great dish for dinner, it's a light lunch, and it all happens in 30 minutes or less. So my tofu is nice and crisp. The next step is to cook off my snap peas. I want a nice blister on them. And the way you're gonna do that is by keeping the peas in contact with the pan. So don't move it. it smells amazing. I'm gonna make the sauce for the tofu. I'm using about one tablespoon of grated ginger. I'm also gonna do one clove of garlic. I'm gonna add in my two cups of coconut milk. I definitely lean on my background as a Nigerian cook. I love strong flavors, so layering spices, layering aromatics, layering all kinds of herbs. I'm gonna add my soy sauce. The molasses adds a little bit of sweetness and color. If you don't have molasses, you can go with honey, you can go with maple syrup. While the sauce is reducing, I'm gonna break my tofu up. And so this is important. I'm breaking up the tofu pieces as opposed to cutting it with a knife because I want those craggly edges because I want something that's really gonna absorb all the delicious flavors. This is a part where the kids could help. You can get them to break up the pieces of tofu. I feel like cooking with kids is great because, you know, for my daughter, it gets her seeing where her food comes from, and it really does make her enjoy the food more. My tofu's gonna go in. That looks and smells amazing. So while this is reducing, I'm gonna make the blistered snap pea salad. I've got some fresh mint, some scallions, I'm doing red pepper flakes. And the last step is rice vinegar. I'm serving this today with rice, steamed white rice, but you could serve it with any grain you have available. Another key to this dish is cashews. You only just need a rough chop. That's so delicious. There's a real depth of flavor. Excellent. It's a one skillet dish. It's definitely a crowd pleaser. You should make it. Now, the dish, the recipe coming at you. What we're gonna do is partner with New York Times food journalists and experts and feature recipes that will make your everyday cooking easier and better and more delicious. The focus, one dish, one easy to follow recipe that you can make for yourself or for your family. And this morning, a, uh, a, a staple of Korean food, egg rice. It's really easy, I promise. Five minutes to whip it up. Good morning, my name is Eric Kim. I'm a cooking columnist for the New York Times. And I'm really excited today because the dish is a really, really easy five minute egg rice. This is called keranbap in Korean. It's just a fried egg with some leftover white rice. The ingredients you'll need for the dish are soy sauce, sesame oil, eggs, butter, white rice, and some seaweed. Pan's getting hot. I'm gonna add the butter. I like to use it as the cooking fat because as the eggs cook, in that time, this small amount of butter will brown a little bit. And it's the browning of those milk solids that gives you an extra oomph of deliciousness. And then just two eggs go in. It's okay if one of them cracks. You're gonna mix this all up anyway. I'll show you. Gorgeous. In here is the soy sauce and sesame oil. All of these like buttery soy sauce, sesame oily drippings, I really think of them as the sauce for the rice. Egg rice is truly something that I eat multiple times a week. The final step is really just mixing it all up and it will all finish cooking off the heat. And you want that wonderful like gooey yolkiness 
And I'm gonna shower the kim right on top, like a huge nest of it. That's what my mom used to do. It seems like a lot, but it's not. It will, you know, this stuff like really shrinks down. But think of this seaweed as the seasoning. It's a really lovely experience. I love this dish. I wish there was more to it, but that's egg rice. <laughs> a little bit of butter that's been browned with the eggs and the soy sauce and this, this nice pool of golden yolk. Doesn't that look good right here? That's gonna sauce our, our rice. And as I stir this into the hot rice and eggs, the seaweed sort of wilts a little bit. It looks like home to me. <laughs> I love eating a bowl of this. It's so comforting. It's egg rice, and it is divine. Today we're showing you how to make a refreshing summer drink that is perfect for the upcoming Labor Day weekend. Our friends over at the New York Times Cooking brought us this special recipe for an agua fresca. Take a look. Good morning, I am Yawande Komalafe. I'm here at the New York Times, and today I'm making a cucumber agua fresca. An agua fresca is a drink that's popular all across Mexico and Central America. And this is a really refreshing drink that you can drink in the daytime. You can, of course, always add alcohol to turn it into a cocktail. The ingredients you'll need to make the dish are cucumbers, limes, mint, sugar, salt, Ginger, really simple, really straightforward. I'm gonna grab my mint. I'm crushing the mint with a little bit of sugar. I feel like that releases the mint oils. I'm just doing that with a fork. This is gonna serve about four people. Two, if you're like me and really enjoy this drink. I can really smell that spearmint. So now I'm gonna add a cup of hot water and I'm gonna add the salt. And I'm using hot water here because I wanna dissolve my salt and sugar. Let that steep. It's almost like you're making a, a mint syrup, like a mint tea. The next step is to cut up my cucumber and put it in my blender. So I'm using a large seedless cucumber. You can use a cucumber with seeds, but I would cut it down the middle and scrape out the seeds. So I'm gonna move this to my blender. I'm gonna add some fresh ginger. It adds a little bit of spice, a little bit of heat. I'm doing just chopped ginger unpeeled. I'm also gonna do some lime juice. And the last ingredient I'm gonna do is lime zest. I really love citrus zest. You can use lemon zest if you don't have limes. And in my blender now, I'm gonna add one cup of room temperature water. Everything is in my blender right now. I'm gonna blend it to a fine pulp and then pass it through the strainer. I'm gonna go ahead and put some fresh mint leaves in my glass. I chilled my glass a little bit, put some ice in it, because I want this to be really cold. It's been hot this summer. I'm gonna pour my agua fresca in here. I'm gonna start with about a tablespoon of simple syrup. I'll give it a stir. That's really good, it's so refreshing, it's so light. And that's it, you have a drink under 10 minutes. If you want to add a shot of alcohol to this, I think it would be really good with vodka or gin, but you know, the choice is yours. Mm -hmm.